Hi folks, Del Rio Sparks here again. Um, we're, we're, today we're in East London doing an EICR. It's a little two bedroom house. Fuse boards up there, as you can see. Up there, so um, I'm gonna get on with it. First thing what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check a few items, switches, lights, sockets. You know, you're supposed to check 10% of the accessories and that. So I'm gonna go around, check connections and stuff like that, and um, let's see how we get on. Okay, cool. As you can see at this switch here, the switch lines are that are not marked. Right, um, it's not nothing terrible. I think that's a code three or something like that. Switch lines not marked should have, because that the original color is red, the, the black, and all the all of them should have red sleeving on it. Tell that it's um, a switch line, it's alive. It's not a big deal. Um, take this fitting down to check, to see how it's connected and check if it's near a joist and anything like that. Um, but I'm finding it hard to get it down. It's the paint and everything, something's stopping it from coming down easy. So the client's not here, so I don't want to do any damage. I don't want to try and take out the fitting and then damage the ceiling and that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that down as a limitation because I can't get to install, um, in, investigate and have a look at that thing. So that's the best thing. So with this bit in, I could see that cable protruding through the, the cover of the pendant, um, the ceiling roll. So all it is is they haven't hooked it on properly around the cable hooks. So I'm going to do that and open that one down. I'm just going to check these switches. Because a lot of the times, a lot of the times, they put metal switches on, but they don't earth them. So I'm just going to check to see if it's earthed. Yeah. There. So you have to make sure you earth the switch, you know. Sometimes people don't have, sometimes they connect it to the bar, to the back of the box, and then the screw should connect there and that should earth that should complete the earth but it's got an earth terminal there so i would always bring one to the to the switch because it's metal okay cool now now look at that look at that see that mm -hmm. they've got the connections up in the ceiling i don't know if i don't know if that's a ceiling because i've come across it where they've put the ceiling roll in the ceiling and plastered over it I don't know if that's what they've got there, or maybe they just got a junction box up there, who knows? But um, it works. Ah, this guy's got his, all his grommets in nicely. That's good. It's good to see, he's got his grommets in. So many installations, people don't even bother to use grommets. <laughs> it's good, good to see. These are not um, fire rated things. Well, they're fire rated, so. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, um, these connections here, although they're up in the ceiling, they're not seen. Really and truly, those, you shouldn't have um, the cores outside. What I would have done, I, if I couldn't get them in here, I'd have put them in the junction box and then come away from the junction box into here. Because you don't, you shouldn't have the cores showing on the outside like that. Right, so that's my 10 for 10 check done. Let's go downstairs and start some more testing, okay? Okay, so I've been outside and I've, it's raining, so I don't want to film out there. Um, the gas meter is just there, but they haven't brought the earth out to there, so I don't know where they've bonded the gas. I'm just gonna check it with my wonder lead and um, see how it goes, okay? Yeah. Okay, so I've auto nulled my one the lead. It's zeroed, and I've connected it to the earth up the, at the fuse board. Um, it's a six mm should be ten. Just going to go outside check the gas. See if I can get any continuity. Yep. Right, 
0.07 should be no uh, should be 0.05 0.07 should be 0.05. Okay, but at least it's connected to earth. Um, I'm going to go across now and check the water pipe. I can't see where any connection where the earth is connected. Uh, I'll see that on the on the um, test form. <coughs> Right, okay, you see? Now, that's the best, that's the best reading, 0 0.01. 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Yeah, so, right, so this is the cold water pipe, which is the one we should be testing. 0.04, so that's good, it's good continuity. And I've disconnected the earth at the fuse board, so there's no parallel earth, so that's proper reading. It's going there. So that's good. I've had to do it here at the incoming because if I try at the outgoing, it's going to trip. I'm using the two, the two cables, so this one I'll see these going to trip. So that's giving me 0 0.2 ohms, 0 0.22 ohms, that's my ZE, and now I'm going to do my fault current, the KA, that's it, my KA is 1.27, going there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is my prospective short circuit current, which is phase to neutral, and um, I'll put down the highest reading, whether, if this is higher than 0 0.27, um, then that's the reading that goes down. Right. 1.72. This isn't clever. This is not clever. That is not good. That isn't good. I'm going to put that down as a fault. Code 2. Name switch not installed correctly. I don't think that's right. <laughs> you guys tell me what you think, if you think I'm right to do that. But I think, I don't, I'm not happy with that at all. It's not positioned in the right position. And it's just too tight. Getting the fuse board cover was a bit difficult getting that off. Because you see, it's really on the edge of that. It's not good. Not good. So the furthest part of the lighting circuit, upstairs lighting, which is in the left at this point here. And I've just done my loop test. And it's 1.45 ohms. So that's cool. Um, even with this one, they've got just one cable. They should have been able to connect it without all the cores showing. But it's just lazy. I think that's just being a bit lazy. ZS on the downstairs light lighting now. And they've got a fluorescent fitting on top of this cupboard. Um, it's got one cable going to it. And I've got a reading of 1.11 ohms. So that's it. I tried it at the bathroom, which is the furthest point. But there's no continuity with the earth. So I've got a feeling there's no earth. The earth is not either not connected properly or there's no earth there. So I came back to here. I'll put that down on the form as a no earth continuity in bathroom light. That will be a further investigation. This first is fitting on top of it. They've just laid it on top. It's not really, it's not fixed or anything. There you go, look what they've done here. Look, it's just there. Cable there. Right. So they've got this lady on top. I've done the, I was testing the ring circuit for the ground floor 
continuity. I got um, downstairs ring. For the neutral, I got no, um, no, oh, yeah, no point eight one, and for the CPC, I got one point five one. But for the phase, there's no continuity. So it looks like the phase either there's a disconnection in the phase or it's not wired as a ring. The phase part. So um, I've had to put that down as a further investigation required in that one. So I'm going to do the loop test on it anyway. I couldn't do R1, R2 because it's not a ring. So I'm going to do the loop test just to see what I get. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, I'm doing the upstairs ring now. As I told you, the downstairs ring, no continuity with the light. And also, when we was doing the loop impedance on the lighting, everything went dead and I couldn't figure it out. I thought, what have I done? What have I done? But when I checked, came back to here, took this off, and as I took it, took it off, the lights went back on. And so when I took it off, I, the neutral was loose. So it was a loose connection, so I had to tighten that up. That would have given them problems in the end. It was arcing and all that. I've seen so many loose neutrals, problems then. And that, like I said, I'm still not happy with that. It's bad. So I'm just going to do the ring ring continuity on the upstairs ring. So that's my phase conductor, 0.55, my neutral, 0.56, which is good, up the top there's going to be 0.56. Now the earth, again, this should be almost double, because this looks like, I don't think it's one mil. Yep, yeah, 0.96. So that's telling me that's a good ring. Now I'm going to do the crossover, that side to face to earth, face to earth, crossing and go around and check each socket. And if they're all the same with what with one higher than the rest of them, then we know we've got a good ring. I think this one's cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just doing the final loop test on the final circuit, which is the upstairs ring. And the upstairs ring, did have a sort of continuity fault, but I think it's more likely um, either the, when you push the the um, tester in, it's not making good connection on the on in the plug, or loose connections in the back or something like that. Nothing serious. I think once you take off the sockets, tighten them up, um, but that would have to be done on the remedial work after. So just doing the loop testing now, and um, everything's cool. Completing <clears throat> this job has been a bit bit of a problem because I've got to keep moving my van. There's no parking around there. You can park for two hours and then you've got to move it. Um, so now yep, that's completed. Just to just got to complete the certificate on my iPad and um, send it to the cloud. And then that's it. Cool. Thank you.